Hello and welcome to our book summary channel. Today, we're delving into the profound insights of The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down by Heyman Sunum. Get ready to unlock mindfulness, balance, and inner peace in a world that's always in a hurry. Stay tuned as we uncover the gems hidden within each chapter, guiding you towards a more serene and meaningful life. Let's start discovering the beauty of slowing down together. Chapter 1. The Importance of Slowing Down. In this opening chapter, Heyman Sunum sets the tone for the book by discussing the frenetic pace of modern life. He illustrates how constant busyness and the pressure to achieve can lead to stress, anxiety, and a sense of disconnection. Sunum emphasizes the need to slow down and appreciate the present moment. He suggests that by doing so, we can cultivate a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Through anecdotes and examples, he shows how being present allows us to notice the beauty and richness of life that often go unnoticed in our hurried state. Chapter 2. Resting Your Mind. Sunam delves into the concept of mental rest in this chapter. He explains that just as our bodies need rest to rejuvenate, our minds also require moments of stillness to regain clarity. He introduces various meditation techniques and mindfulness practices to help calm the mind and ease stress. Sunam encourages readers to let go of their racing thoughts and find solace in moments of quiet contemplation. Through personal stories and practical exercises, he illustrates how even short periods of mindfulness can lead to increased focus, creativity, and overall well-being. Chapter 3. Finding Balance. In this chapter, Sunam explores the challenge of balancing various aspects of life, such as work, relationships, and personal pursuits. He addresses the tendency to overcommit and suggests that by setting clear priorities and boundaries, we can avoid burnout and lead a more balanced life. Sunam shares anecdotes and insights on how saying, no, when necessary can lead to a more fulfilling and intentional existence. He emphasizes that slowing down and making deliberate choices allows us to invest our time and energy in what truly matters. Chapter 4. Connecting with Others. The theme of human connection takes center stage in this chapter. Sunam discusses the importance of meaningful relationships and genuine interactions. He encourages readers to be fully present when engaging with others, to truly listen and show empathy. Through stories and teachings, he illustrates how slowing down and being attentive can deepen our connections and foster a sense of belonging. Sunam emphasizes that in a world dominated by digital communication, taking the time to connect face to face can lead to more fulfilling and authentic relationships. Chapter 5. Being Present. Sunam delves further into the concept of mindfulness and being present in the moment. He explains that by immersing ourselves fully in each experience, we can derive greater joy and satisfaction from life's simple pleasures. Sunam shares exercises and techniques to help readers become more aware of their surroundings and sensations. He encourages practicing mindfulness in daily activities, such as eating or walking, and shares how this practice can lead to a deeper appreciation for life's ordinary moments. Chapter 6. Embracing Imperfection. In this chapter, Sunam explores the Zen philosophy of embracing imperfection and impermanence. He discusses the liberation that comes from letting go of perfectionism and accepting the transient nature of life. Through anecdotes and teachings, Sunam illustrates how acknowledging our flaws and vulnerabilities can lead to greater self-compassion and inner peace. He emphasizes that slowing down and reflecting on the impermanent nature of things can help us live more authentically and free from unnecessary expectations. Chapter 7. Finding Your Calling. Sunam shifts his focus to the importance of finding purpose and meaning in life. He encourages readers to align their passions with their actions, emphasizing that living with intention and authenticity leads to a more fulfilling existence. Sunam shares stories and insights on discovering one's calling, highlighting the value of self-discovery and exploration. He suggests that by slowing down and reflecting on our values and aspirations, we can make choices that bring us closer to our true purpose. Chapter 8. Cultivating Love. In the final chapter, Sunam explores the transformative power of love. He discusses the interconnectedness of all beings and the importance of cultivating love and compassion for ourselves and others. Sunam provides practical guidance on forgiveness, empathy, and letting go of grudges. He emphasizes that by slowing down and nurturing a loving heart, we can create a positive ripple effect in our relationships and contribute to a more harmonious world. Conclusion. The book concludes by summarizing the key insights and lessons presented in each chapter. Sunam reiterates the benefits of slowing down, practicing mindfulness, and embracing imperfection. He emphasizes that the journey toward a more meaningful and mindful life is ongoing and requires consistent effort. 
Sunam encourages readers to continue exploring these concepts, deepening their practice, and finding moments of stillness in the midst of life's busyness. In The Things You Can See Only When You Slow Down, Heyman Sunam provides readers with a comprehensive guide to cultivating mindfulness, inner peace, and fulfillment. Through thoughtful anecdotes, practical exercises, and insightful teachings, the book invites readers to reevaluate their approach to life and discover the hidden joys that can only be found when we take the time to slow down and embrace the present moment. If you like this summary then subscribe to my channel and if you want to purchase this book, check out the link given in description box. Also check out the new designs on our store for unisex t-shirt, hoodie, sweatshirt etc. I'll see you in the next book summary. Thanks for watching.